I'm here at Bergen in Norway. Today I'm taking not one, but 13 flights with a Norwegian airline Vidaro all the way up the coast of Norway, deep into the Arctic Circle. My aim is to find out how aviation is connecting communities in the remote parts of the world, up in the north of Norway, in the Arctic Circle. I'm taking today's flights with the Norwegian regional airline Vidaro, using their Explore Norway ticket. This allows for unlimited travel around Vidaro's route network for a fixed price. I'll talk more about this later in the video. The first leg today was to take me north into the Arctic Circle to Boda on board a Widero-8 Q400. My route for this trip takes me north into Boda before taking a second flight to Andernes and Tromsø. From there it's on to Hasvik, Hammerfest, Honningsvåg, Mehamn, Vadsø and Kirkenes. I'll have a couple of hours in Kirkenes before heading back to Tromsø via Vadsø, Alta and Sørkjøsen. We landed into Boda, my first point north of the Arctic Circle. Boda is one of Vidaro's hubs and sees flights all across Norway. Vidaro are the only airline in the world to operate every variant of the Dash 8, from the 100 right the way up to the Q400. At the gate here at Buda. Next flight is up to Tromsø but it doesn't go directly there, it stops off at a little island called Andernes on the way. My aircraft is just out there getting ready for boarding my first time on any Dash 8 that's not a Q400 so fingers crossed this will be the first of many on this trip. My ride to Andernes and Tromsø today was a Dash 8 100. There's free seating on all of Vidaro's domestic flights, although they prefer you to sit towards the back for weight and balance reasons. After takeoff, we headed up the coast towards Andernes on the island of Andoya. down in a rainy Andernes for a short stop before getting airborne again for the flight to Tromsø. The scenery goes from stunning to incredible the further north you head in Norway, and we were soon making our approach and landing into the northernmost city in the world, Tromsø. I'm here then at Tromsø International Airport in Tromsø, Northern Norway. Tromsø is the most northerly city in the whole world and it is absolutely stunning. I mean, would you just look at this? Straight out of the airport and there's just huge mountains and things all around. It's absolutely beautiful. So while I am here in the most northerly city in the world, what else is there to do but to try and find the world's most northerly Burger King? And there is one just around the corner from here that holds the record as being the most northerly Burger King in the whole world. So let's go and check it out. <laughs> So this video is very kindly brought to you by Curve, who have sent me this amazing metal card. Have you ever seen a metal card before? That's amazing. Curve is basically an app that they call themselves the Spotify of credit cards. Curve is an app that you have for your phone as well as a physical card. And what it does is it allows you to have all of your existing credit and debit cards together in one app. So you can use this card wherever you are in the world. They also offer loads of other features as well. I'm going to go and head inside to the world's most northerly Burger King and try using my spanky metal curve card. 
and there it is the holy grail of burgers other burger chains are available of course but there aren't any of those with the most northerly one in Tromsø so it doesn't really work for this video but <laughs> let's go and check out the Norwegian most northerly Burger King with Curve, you not only get a great looking card, but a host of other benefits, including travel insurance, gadget insurance, and discounted airport lounge access. Couple this with their zero foreign exchange fees, and it's a great card. Curve wants to give you five pounds for free just by signing up for your free card. Check out the link in the description and use code NOLPHILLIPS to get your hands on one. I mean, is there anywhere better on earth to sit and eat a Whopper than here? I mean, seriously. On a beach, planes landing behind me into Tromso Airport. Look at the scenery over there. Snow-capped mountains. It's amazing. Hmm. And I know that this has cost me like nearly 11 pounds for a burger, but <laughs> holy cows actually tastes quite good or maybe it's just because I've spent so much I wanted to taste good how's that review so the world's most northerly Burger King is just to the south of me over there and I'm sat to the north of the world's most northerly Burger King eating a burger does that mean that I am the most northerly person in the world at the moment eating a Burger King I'd like to think I am after my 11 pound burger I headed back to the airport My aircraft for this evening's flying arrived in from Hammerfest and it wasn't long before I was boarding for my adventure across Finnmark. Thank you. My home for the next three hours was another Dash 8 100. Hey, Hello. sun sat high above the horizon in the north, we took off heading eastbound into some of the most beautiful scenery that I've ever seen. The flight was pretty full for the first two legs, as we headed towards our first stop on this flight, Hasvik, a small fishing village with a population of 385. After 15 minutes on the ground in Hasvik, we took off heading further east towards Hammerfest. Hammerfest is a beautiful town which features a stunning approach and landing, looping over the town to make an approach into the airport. Most of the passengers got off the aircraft here and were replaced by only two.
Doors were closed and we took off once more, heading towards the town of Honingsburg. Honingsburg is the northernmost town in Europe, although Hammerfest disputes that on the basis that it is bigger. It's situated at 71 degrees north and is nearby to the North Cape, which is known as the northernmost point in Europe, even though the next cape along, Knivskjelodden, try saying that with a mouthful, extends slightly further north. Then there's Svalbard, of course, that's hundreds of miles further north again. The North Cape is, though, the northernmost point that can be reached by road in Europe. To make things even more confusing, the northernmost point in mainland Europe is Cape Nordkin, a few miles from our next destination, Mehamen. We had to wait a while at Mehamen as there was an air ambulance loading a poorly patient who was being transferred back to Hammerfest. Hammerfest is a five hour drive from Mehamen, but the air ambulance can cover the distance in less than 30 minutes. They're putting asphalt on the runway in, in uh, Montreux and they're finishing up the work so we can't go before scheduled time unless there is a change. Huh? Forget everything that I said, they can go right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are at Mehamen, an ultimate stop. We have one more stop at Vatsu, and we're going to be heading out in a minute. There's an air ambulance taking somebody away, I think, from here. It's just taxiing out in front of us, but then we're off to Vatsu and onward to Kirkenis. After we took off from Mehamen, the time ticked over to midnight. It's such a strange experience being in broad daylight in the middle of the night, and as the town of Vadso slept below us, we made our approach into the tiny airport to the east of the town. As we sat on the ground at Vadso, the captain came out and I got the surprise of my life. I was invited up to the flight deck to ride on the jump seat for the next flight to Kirkenes. Wow, thank you, thank you. I didn't need asking twice and headed straight for the flight deck with the captain. No, no, that's like Christmas. Have you been here before? Um, no, not on the Dash 8, no. Okay, come on in, you have to step over here. Yeah. And then we have to Put the seat down. seats down there, thank you very much. And I have to brief you on a, oh, some of course. Yeah. Open the door, the door will of be course. your back support. Yep. And then, and the reason I would command you out is if we get smoke in cockpit, we yes. only have two Darth Vader masks. Yes, okay. And they are not for you. Right. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and if you, you your job is more important. Yeah, so. if, you, if you can't breathe, your arms will go like this yeah. and you will hit all the buttons. Oh uh, yes, we don't want that. Door open. Okay. This yeah. is the That's alternative the way. way. Right. Okay. Then there is a rope there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You take this, it goes down, Excellent. you step on here, and then you just straight run. Excellent, thank you. But there is one clue. When you now get out, you have to run, and this is the test. <laughs> when your left arm goes back, you have to run help, help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> can you do that? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. <laughs> it's a synchronization test. Synchronization. We were given our clearance to start our engines and we were soon taxiing out to the runway for one of the most memorable flights of my life. Mm -hmm. oh. Then no headsets on. Mm -hmm. All our 
Vadso to Kirkenes is a two hour, 100 mile drive by road, but by air it's one of the shortest flights in the world, just 24 miles and 12 minutes long. The captain said his record for this flight was six minutes with a good tailwind. The weather had really closed in by this point and most of the flight was spent in the low cloud across the Barents Sea between Vadso and Kirkenes. We established on the ILS for runway 24 at Kirkenes and we emerged from the low cloud on short final at around 150 feet. One more. I'm very interested there. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Nice there we go. I want chocolates as well. Yeah, I'll take yes. <laughs> Thank you. Very much. Oh, no, one is fine. Thank okay. you. I'll be awake all night. I'll, I'll be awake all night anyway, but yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you will stay. You can stay here. Yeah. Yes, thank you for the service and thanks for the flight. Oh, okay. <laughs> thanks very much. Tell you. Bye bye. Nice thank you. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. It had been an incredible ride over on the flight deck and I left my flight absolutely buzzing. I had around three hours in Kirkenes to try and rest. Ah, bed. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no one here. There's no one here. Uh, can I stay here or...? You can stay there or you can stay there or you can stay... In... Ah, stay through here. <laughs> I'm going to go 4.45. That's, yeah. the, that's me. 8.23. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, it's the same aircraft probably. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> is it? it? Is. Yeah. Okay. Great, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, have a good evening, thank you. Bye-bye. Wow, what an incredible experience that was, aside from the several flights in and out of the remote little airports, which was absolutely incredible. I actually got to spend the last sector on the flight deck in the jump seat at first for me. That was incredible. Thank you so much to the amazing crew at Widero. So here now then at Kirkenes, we're just nine miles here from the border with Russia. This is as far as you can get in Norway to the northeast. I have got about three hours until my next flight. The crew said I should be okay to just sleep here on one of these sofas for a couple of hours until my flight at 4.45. The airport officially is closed and locks up now. So flight in the morning then back to Tromso leaves at 4.45. It's now 1am so we've got about three, three and a half hours here um, to try and get some rest. It goes back to Tromso again with multiple stops. It stops at Vadso, it stops at Alta and it stops at Sorkjusen. It's another two, three hour flight apparently on this same aircraft. There we go, everyone's gone home for the night. <laughs> it's night time. It's all very eerie. I'm going to try and get some sleep on that note. Good night. It is 3.30 in the morning and all these lights have just come on. It's been a bit weird. They literally shut and locked the entire airport up around me. I was the only person in this airport in the dark for a couple of hours. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. I kind of wanted to go exploring Grand Theft Auto style. I'm worried I'd set off some alarm or something. About half an hour now until everybody turns up for the flight over to Tromsø. I think staff are starting to turn up for the day shift now. I've just seen a security guard come in. And there goes another one. The airport is starting to wake up. I headed through the security point at Kirkenes. It was interesting to see that the passport control signs were in Russian, as well as Norwegian and English, a clear reminder that the Russian border was only nine miles away. Thank you. I boarded the same aircraft that had brought me in from Tromsø earlier in the morning. Good morning. Hello. First stop today was back to Vadso. The weather had remained rainy overnight and it was a murky morning up in Vadso. We dropped off the morning mail and picked up a couple of passengers before heading off for the relatively long 45 minute sector across to Alta. Alta's a bigger airport than many in this part of the world and experiences its peak season in winter when thousands of visitors come to see the Northern Lights. From Alta, it was a 15 minute ride to the beautiful village of Sirkiosen, nestled in between the mountains. The approach and landing into Sirkiosen is absolutely stunning and kicked off possibly the most scenic part of my Arctic adventure.
As we climbed out of Circusen, the terrain climbed with us to reveal the stunning mountain tops of the Lingen Alps. From the mountains of the Lingen Peninsula, we crossed the fjord of Ulsfjorden and began our descent down into Tromsø. I took my flights around Norway with Vidro's Explore Norway Pass. This is a travel pass that they offer in the summer that allows unlimited flights for a fixed fee. My Explore Norway ticket cost me £450 which allows for unlimited travel on Vidro's entire route network across Europe and Norway for a two-week period. Thank you, Robert. Have a nice day. Thanks, you too. This ticket also included my flight from Aberdeen to Bergen, as well as my flights from Tromsø back to Bergen and onwards to Stavanger. The Explore Norway ticket offers incredible value for money and I'll definitely be back in the future to take more incredible flights around one of Europe's most beautiful countries. Back here then at Tromsø. Wow, what a great few flights they were over to Kirkenes and back here to Tromsø. That last flight in particular, absolutely stunning. The scenery was just out of this world. Never seen anything like it on a flight. It was incredible. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think to it down in the comments section below. Have you taken any crazy trips like that before? Let me know down in the comments. Once again, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time here on In Flight Video.